What's up guys, 3tips is back again and today I'll be showing you something cool. It's about 3D photo for Facebook. So a couple of guys are asking me how can they make 3D post for their zebras character in Facebook. So I thought let's make a video about it. So let's start. So let's jump in and start set this uh, document size first. I'm going to set it to 2k by 2k. You can set it what you like. Okay, so resize, yes, control N and drag. So now I'm going to zoom my canvas like this. It's hard to see, but I will try that you can see this. Okay, so here is my document and this is the outer border. You can scale up and scale down from here. So I will set like this and there is my character over here. Yeah, so I'm zooming into that. Setting the camera angle a little bit. So I think this is fine okay so let's set the angle you can go up to this document and zap link properties and set your angle by this custom one okay so now my angle is set I'm going to light it properly uh, I will speed up this part Okay, let's go to render and uh, the BPR shadows. Give a value. Uh, I'm going to add 25 and 35. You can add a little blur to it also. It's fine, no issues. Okay, so my angle is set. My light is set. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to render it. Then BPR render. It's rendering. Okay, my render is done. I'm going to bright it in Photoshop a little bit. Now let's go to this render and render passes. So you need these two and a mask also. These three. You need these three textures. Okay, renders. Sorry, desktop, uh, new folder, BPR render done, depth done, mask done. Okay, so I got the three images. Uh, I'm going to comp a little bit in uh, Photoshop. So I open three images here. Select this one. Put uh, background. I'm adding a mask to it, and on the mask I will paste the mask so it will cut out my background like this and place my depth okay so uh, before going to depth I'm going to little uh, add some texture or something like that control O and desktop I will add a background to it quickly so I got the background here copy and paste into this I'm showing it in quickly so it's fine okay um, I will bring the depth map 
to the same image so that I can crop. Oh, I accidentally turned it off. Mm. New folder. Here is the depth. Oh, control A, control C, and control V. Yeah. And crop it and copy this mask to here. So I got this. Okay. Now I will desaturate a little bit, change the color of the mag background. Bring up the brightness of my character a little bit. Okay, I like it. So I got the depth at the same position, and I got this my diffuse same position and this. So uh, if you make your background uh, totally black, it means it is really far from the camera. And when the 3D photo going to effect, it, it will tear off these edges. Uh, I will show you both the way that it works, so that you can judge how to fix it. Wait, I'm going to save it in the JPEG. So I will save on this one. I will try. I'm trying this one before. So oh, it's it's death map. It's not the diffuse. Wait. Uh, it's depth map, BPR depth, and in the JPEG text up on the BPR. So I have two images now. Uh, one is as where it is. These two. One is BPR and one is BPR underscore depth. Make sure you have underscore depth on your depth image. It will automatically calculate that as a depth map in Facebook. So now let's jump into Facebook. Now write a post, go here and add photos, upload photos and choose photos. It will also work on your timeline so don't worry. So if you do it correctly then your image is loading up like this. Okay. Let it load. <coughs> So it will have like this. So if your background is totally black, then this white area is come up. So what you can do for fix it, I will show you. Mm. Go to this Photoshop. This is your mm, depth map. So uh, hit Control M, open up the curve palette, and Pull up this uh, what is it? This black point to little up so that this black area turn little bit of gray and okay and saves the depth file again on the desktop depth. Okay, so now close it and re-upload it again load so this one and this one and open so it's loading up again and it should remove that white portion 
basically you are giving the information that the background is not not too far from the camera it's just a little bit background far from the camera yeah you see it's not coming up this uh, white thing okay so yeah now just first it so if you like it then give a thumbs up to my channel and subscribe to my channel and i will see, see you in the next one bye bye